Correct your English errors fast. Today, we're going to talk about common errors that students make when speaking English. But first, I want to say one thing: Don't let the fear of errors stop you from speaking English. Remember, it's more important to communicate and practice your speaking, even if it's not perfect. However, one of the fastest ways to correct your English errors is to focus on avoiding the most common mistakes, which are made by English learners from many countries and at various levels. I'll teach you five in this lesson. Number one, the difference between haven't and don't have. I haven't a car is incorrect. The correct sentence is, "I don't have a car." When have is the main verb, meaning possession, we use "don't have" and "doesn't have." For example, "I don't have any sisters." Bob doesn't have a dog. When have is the auxiliary verb, like in the present perfect, then we use "haven't" and "hasn't." For example, I haven't finished my work yet. Jane hasn't taken the test. Number two, everybody like or likes. Everybody like the teacher is incorrect. The correct sentence is everybody likes the teacher. The words everybody, anybody, somebody, and nobody. All take the singular form of the verb. Everybody refers to many people, but it considers them as a group. Other words that refer to many people but take the singular form of the verb include team, club, staff, family, police, and class. Number three. Indirect and direct objects. Gary gave to Joan the keys. Is incorrect. The correct sentence is, Gary gave the keys to Joan, or Gary gave Joan the keys. Let's look at the parts of this sentence. Gary is the subject. Gave is the verb. The keys are the direct object. And Joan is the indirect object. In English, we can form the correct sentence in two ways. The indirect object often comes immediately after the verb: subject, verb, indirect object, direct object. Gary gave Joan the keys. You can also put the direct object first. And add to before the indirect object. Gary gave the keys to Joan. However, you can't put the indirect object first and use to. Number four, prepositions and verbs. They left without say goodbye is incorrect. The correct sentence is. They left without saying goodbye. Verbs immediately following prepositions like before, after, since, when, while, despite, without, and for, always take the ing form. Here are some examples. After graduating from college, she started working full time. This course is great for improving your English. Number five, reported questions. He asked me where do I live, is incorrect. The correct sentence is he asked me where I live. This sentence is an example of a reported question. We are talking about a question someone asked in the past. In reported questions, don't use the auxiliary verbs do, does, or did. Here's another example: 
They asked me what did I think is incorrect. The correct sentence is they asked me what I thought. In my years of experience as an English teacher, I've heard many of the same errors very frequently. So I wrote a book to help students correct them. 100 Common Errors in English. It teaches you the errors and the explanations. You can buy the book for $15 on EspressoEnglish.net. You'll find it very helpful in correcting your English errors. If you want to see a free sample of the book before you buy it, you can download one by clicking the link under this video.